sensitive information. Wait, so hold on. For that episode, did we go the racist. entire like end of that episode without actually language. acknowledging the conversation Yet. we're currently Yet. in? Mr. Jensen, yeah. please. Yes. Do not make light. Okay, of the let's do that now. Bell Tower is. What is well, this guy about? You know their Josh. role in this city. But what you do okay. not know uh, is that they often so this is a, um, yes. in private. But why does he have a doctor here? Yeah, why does he have Moe's haircut? Projects. That's my what question. You, Americans call black operations. you think with the doctor salary he could afford someone some of their besides his mother to take a pair of scissors to his cranium? With experimental top secret hardware. Not to sound too cheap, um, this is... But none of this is one of the side quests crimes. you get in... Stuff like that's been going in Hang Shaw Take yes. 2, which... Your Seems really freaking weird because this practice, I am sure. But Bell doing Tower side quests when you're you're clearly building up to the end of the game at this point army. seems off. On sale to the um, this guy is, this is about stopping Bell Tower, then? a doctor here at Lim who's been uh, right helping. Um, only one man. No, no. Basically, kind it of blackmailed of into Bell helping. Um, help it is just one of a, a Bell Tower a super soldier named Michael Zelazny. Um, he was an American. With experimental I don't know why that's important, and but to I figured an that might as well say it. Um, regulations. I am ashamed to say who I is basically part himself, of a super soldier product, uh, project, project. Secret product. What the? For the Chinese. I need more coffee. A uh, super soldier okay. project at Bill Tower, who is um, uh, been implanted with kind of a control chip. I get it. He's a badass. That quite. Mr. Jensen helps Fight. to block out certain Rumor memories. It's, it's supposedly and there so that, uh, you know, if he ever gets captured and interrogated, he won't be able to give out any information. But I am this is they are involved. conspiracy then, theory a few days ago, chicken Mr. soup Zelazny here, so contacted me. He obviously it's being used to control him instead. Um, and he's, he's kind of gone rogue with a few of his friends, to the back store and, and he's been kind of killing uh, Black Tower guys and... Getting they help from this guy. Emergency repairs on one of the agents. Um, and this guy's coming to us because he wants him. He wants us to find a peaceful way to to kind of convince him to stop uh, doing you what must he's go doing. There and make Mr. Now here's the interesting thing about this quest. I I could be wrong, but I'm reasonably certain yeah, there's actually I mean, no way to persuade him to stop. Machines known for, if not their unmatched love for dialogue. Am I wrong? No, there I'm isn't. Sure go wrong. There isn't. This Do is the quest with the Casey Og failure. To dismiss the possibility of speaking. To yes, if he, in fact, if he tried to use your armpit farting, he's immune to it and maniac. takes it. Your the fact that you just tried to, you know, resonate with use pheromones on him but if way better than anyone really should. I think you are a good candidate to get it done, or at least. Survive. So now that I've done this whole spiel about him, I feel obligated that to do it. I I'm glad because I've never seen this quest. I walked by that guy, never talked to him. I've never seen this. Um, but before we get that, um, since since we're already in side quest uh, mode, we might as well go into the other district and get the other side quest from one of Hudero's, uh, I guess, secretaries, assistants. I don't know what the fuck. Um, because the stuff that she has us do is right next to it. Yeah, I, I didn't do the this one, subway. but I did do the uh, Hudera one, and I don't think there's any way to not make that sound like a really scummy thing to do. The Hudero one? Yeah, I mean, she basically asks you, what, what, what is it, either kill somebody or get some information no. for... No, Hugo. she doesn't there... want you to kill him. You fail the quest if you kill him, actually. W what it is, is they have a chip. I forget, Mr. like, they stole Hudero, it from yeah. Hudero or something. He's trying to negotiate for it back. I forget why they have this chip, but he needs it. And rather than go in and deal with them a contact of mine, and Meng risk Yao them trying to double-cross him, he has you go and knock them all now. out. And it, what they claim is, oh, we want to bring them in for questioning, you know, yeah. and we want we want justice. But it's like, wait, if you wanted justice, you would probably call the police. I have this sneaking suspicion that these uh, you guys you knock yourself. out are going to end all. up Look at a in, a, for yourself. in a dark room answering difficult questions for someone with lots of pointy objects. That's to my be fair, on what the quest is all about. Cause the maybe police he wants here kind of sucks, and we've already mostly pissed them all off. 
that's true. And in fact, this is the point in the game. Well, when Malik gets Let's shot get down, peps. like all through the game, I'm usually non-lethal, not because I'm trying to get the non-lethal achievement, but just because. Hey, these guys are cops. They're just doing their job. But once they try and shoot Malik down, I start carrying an assault rifle and just shooting people. <laughs> All right, you guys are too corrupt. I'm sorry. We can't be professional about this, but it's time to die. Come back. This is the other guy um, that you can get the uh, exploding rounds from, and where I got it in the first game. Um, and you can actually get it earlier when you're in the pods because I guess he's there, but I never found him and never knew about it until we actually played through the pods in this playthrough. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, I probably should have gotten those. You know what he doesn't have is stun gun darts. Ah. Yeah. Nobody ever has any stun gun darts. Nobody Mr. ever has any ga goddamn right? trank rounds, Thank dude. You for your time. I am Meng Yao. And at this point, they basically gave up trying to make anyone sound like an Asian person at all. You come highly recommended. Really? Your boss this, this is Mr. Jensen? The worst fake Asian Apparently, accent I've ever very efficient and always get the job done. This yeah, is phony game. Is. Definitely use a man like you for this operation. This game is a library of Congress of bad racist <coughs> accents. What operation? We need you to help us stop a group of terrorists. I kind of wish Hugh Darrow had like a, a an American guy doing a really bad Cockney accent because that would have been hilarious. Okay, I'll help out. <laughs> I, am I the only one kind of bothered by Hugh Darrow's accent because he turns out to be the main villain and he has this super stereotypical high class villain British accent? He's Malcolm McDowell. To one of our agents, a man named Lofe. Wait, are you serious? Supposed to take place no, near the no, 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 but you believe it. In the Daigong district. Yeah, I mean, and he does come from that same meeting. sort of Actually, attitude space, that same meeting. tone of voice. We are sending you alone to ensure Mr. I actually safety. liked his performance, but like Josh, I did think it was a bit that. too... And we'll have the information with them. Haha, <laughs> <on our laughs> I chip. am an evil villain. You have to neutralize all of the sellers and retrieve the chip so you can bring it to me. I don't get it. If Faye set up the meeting... Why risk sending me in his stead? Why doesn't he or even some of your other agents drop in on the sellers and take the chip? Because Mr. Darrow wants an absolute guarantee that there will be no You know, it's, it's no good to know that if ever Seraph Industries we went under, um, Jensen rules. would have a career as like a sunglasses we want model. We arrested and questioned, <laughs> and properly prosecuted Yeah, no, like the wristwatches. Definitely this wristwatches. This will require stealth and efficiency. That's why a Wristwatches on, on sunglasses. ...will be indispensable. <laughs> No! Cologne! Let's do this. <laughs> he'd, be, he'd be doing Jason. the Axe commercials, and he'd just walk down the street just armpit farting his way through the streets mm -hmm. and just gathering up huge, uh, this huge following of, of cheerleaders. <laughs> and then <laughs> they all start charging him and he's sprinting down the street with a mob of women running after him yelling, I never asked for this, <laughs> and I didn't have to. <laughs> Casey Og. Axe Casey. So if this Axe game is Casey Adam, spray. if this game is Adam and the original game was uh, Jesus, where does that leave? Uh, what next biblical figure should we do? Well, naturally Moses. There will be yeah. a great big flood in in Hangshaw, and. And you'll be like like a like a fishing boat captain that really hates that everyone. That would be Noah. That would be Noah. Actually, so what? Um, the Moses idea actually isn't terrible if you start out as like an Illuminatus who is you know raised in a position of power and slowly have to sort of convert yeah. to. See, you know. I think that would be cool. Yeah, Chris, you're onto something with that. You kind of like you got to lead a bunch of people away from the Illuminati. Oh god, and then the twist could be that you're actually working for Bob Page to set up the Majestic 12. Check oh, this oh. out. Ma'am, have you seen the head You could even so, just name the character This Moses. guy's talking to this person, but look at who's moving their lip. This man is extremely dangerous. If you do see Or at least uh, <laughs> she was there initially. The nearest bell tower officer you can find. Wow, that's pretty mean. It's, it's a side effect of the augmentation patch that what the? 
That that How did I kill the civilian? What the hell? She had a heart attack. She had a heart attack. They were psychically dude. bound. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? You she had a pacemaker, you jerk. <laughs> I didn't even she hit her. her you got to be careful oh, or you'll blow this. Hey, is that a man in black or is that just a business guy? That's uh that's one of the business guys that you've got to take down. Non-lethal. There. That you guys are really no, starting to get on my nerves. Your stealth operation continued. Oh, is there a guy directly below me or something? Not. I'm gonna go ahead and say whether you succeed or not. This is the wrong way to be stealthy. This is how to not. I, be I think stealthy. that's the constant. That is the constant in this show. And yet it continues to work. That's what really gets me. Is there an yeah. augmentation associated with that auto aim, or is that just a feature of the gun I never knew? That's that's a mod. Oh, it's hard to hit people at this range. Are we outside of the gun's range? No, You're you can hit people it. at this range. It's just... It's not easy. Especially when the auto-aim mod keeps missing. And they keep waking each other up. That's why I turned it up. off. Yeah. Um, I went... I rushed down totally there and... Going to run out. Just punched them all out. Not going anywhere for a while? Nope. You know, something I've never checked. I wonder if you can farm experience by constantly knocking out the same people. That would take forever. Yeah. Yeah, it would waste the reader's time and be the least efficient way to do it. I wonder what Josh is gonna do. God damn it. You died, didn't we? I'm really good at this. I miss with tasers. You can't run! <laughs> See, Chris, you're learning. What the hell? Oh, this guy must have the chip. There you go. And no one knew you were here. Completely silent. Not the bell tower guys like got blown up above or anything. No, no, that's like a it. ghost with electric magic. Like the a really recognizable ghost with electric magic who's branded with the corporate logo of your employer. And armed oh, with a God revolver that shoots bombs. The I had most a distinctive weapon in the, in the world. District to fucking find a barber shop before I could find it. Can I just go there? Fast travel? No, I mean, can I just, like, skip that part of the quest and run into these guys? I have no idea. Nope, they're not here. God damn it. Oh, this is you. This is where the quest is resolved. Yeah, this, this is, is where they would the be. Game. Oh, and they're not here because you didn't do all the quest parts. So, speaking of Bell Tower, and uh, I, I guess in relation to some of the things in the comments last week about uh, Picus, one thing I think the game did really well was avoiding any sort of overt political overtones, despite how easy that would have been to accidentally trigger. I would, I would go as far as to say how hard it is to avoid doing anything political. What a complete but, minefield these ideas are, but yeah. But, but they did a really good job of it, because... Oh, wait, no, I'm not. Yeah. I mean, you, you really don't... Picus is really a metaphor for control of the media, and it would be real easy for that to slip into some sort of uh, political commentary, and, and they really try to avoid doing that and just sort of treat it as a, an allegory for the media in the abstract. Yes. And Bell Tower you didn't is a, get a, a you little... Didn't... Yeah, Go ahead. I didn't get the vibe that, uh, that Picus was allegorically 
some media outlet that exists today that people get angry at. Um, I didn't get that vibe at all. It is its own thing. It works. It, you know, it, it works in the story and it is a bad thing that it controls the news. But they're not, they never just came right out and like, see, just like that one thing that, you know, we all, yeah, they never did that. And that takes skill because they're really trying to argue that it's sort of uh, inherent in any media at all, and and that word selection and and what you choose to discuss or not discuss is inherently something that every editor makes the decision of doing, and this particular company is just doing it with the interests of the Illuminati. Right, and and right. I'm even I even agree with that, that you know. The, all those decisions are made all the time, and they're made on what some criteria or another. Um, and it's really hard to it's really hard to. Um, I don't know what you want to how how do you want to say that? It's you can't ever make a decision without some sort of bias when you're making decisions on this scale. I mean, if they're made by human beings, then you know what those human beings think will affect the decisions. They have to. They're supposed to. That's how human beings make decisions. That's odd. Why is this... Like, I can see the icon for this... This quest oh. here. Yes. This but is really annoying getting around it's here. It's not on the There's map. There's a couple of spots. Where the, the icons lead you away, and often it's just, it wants you to go to the next zone, but the icon uh, isn't... Where it is. you, you, yeah. The icon isn't actually just pointing where you're supposed to go, it's just sort of like pointing to the vague area on the other side of the loading screen. Very frustrating. It's not even the other side of the loading screen. I wonder how much of the game total was spent staring at a hacking screen on average. Depends on if you're a masochist or not. Here we go. It's Inexplicable butcher Victory. shop in the middle of this alleyway here. You look familiar. Are you on TV? Oh. And then a back door that <laughs> leads into whatever the fuck this place is. Weird. This is that. Um, this is a, a, a bell tower guy dressed exactly like a bell tower guy that was kind of, you know, a plant, a mole, if you will, in uh, in Zelazny's organization. So the red and black is actually bell tower. I think it is. Access grant. That's interesting because that I, I I don't know what that means for Deus Ex, you know. I don't know if it's just a clever nod to the original Deus Ex, or if the implication is these are sort of the clone troopers to Deus Ex's stormtroopers. Yeah, who else wears red and black? I'm trying to think. Darth Maul. No, no, but I mean in this in this That's particular face game, paint, though. which like Bell Tower is all gray. So who's red and black? They're the mystery Illuminatus that protect uh, Megan at the later place. They're the people that attack... Uh, oh, yeah, this one's right. broken, too. This quest is totally broken where it doesn't update after you find the pocket secretary, so I had to go look nice. up and find this thing. Um, nice. Of course, I know where it is. But now that I think about it, I should go and, and turn this into Meng Yao, um, since... Well, actually, no, you know what? I should go over there. We'll come back here on our way to meet... Um, Tom, oh big gosh. spoiler there. Yeah, this is about the most realistic. This is uh, <laughs> unlike most. A day of in the life of an indecisive player. This is what my playthrough looked like a lot of the time. You're trying to route efficiently, but you're like, wait, oh, okay, that's real close. Oh, but it's on the other side of a loading screen. So wait, is it better to hike all the way across town? So the hive and has been like locked loading? down. I think I moved far enough away that I wasn't able to kill him with, and kill all of them with one shot. On the so this um, never really, this particular reveal kind of felt like a small world coincidence that I didn't. That it was a little too small, if you know, know what I mean. Yeah. yeah. Which reveal? 
the uh, Tong's arm. Oh, yes. Yes. It just happened to be the guy that you worked with, you know, six months ago. 